all right so this is day one for Mike we just picked up a money gram here from his mother he's rough Mike's been at my house before he's down to do this so we're gonna follow this and we're gonna make sure uh, keep you all updated on everything that's going on and how it's going that's your luggage Mike <laughs> Even though we really obviously the center of attention, so it's a quiet is what I heard. It's a little bit I'll never forget. I can tell you that. TV. I don't know if this guy he might freak out on me though. Maybe you heard the mom all the time. Luxury sober home living right there, buddy. Look at that. You got a bed to lay on now. <laughs> the luggage you had you had like you actually had suitcases last time you moved in got my luggage got my phone got my new iPhone it hasn't even come out yet they gave it to me for five bucks just gotta somehow afford to get minutes on it got my bags my luggage Get work. Well, first, cut my hair. I gotta text your roommate. Gotta get the phone up and running. And get work. Hit a meeting. Get on the ball. All right. Let's do it. Mike, how we looking on the job interviews, bro? Oh, applying everywhere and anywhere I can. Got my dress shirt going on. Probably isn't the best to have shorts and gym shoes with it, but hey. Gotta do what I gotta do to start making a few bucks, you know? Start getting that, that, that money again. Just walk up to the counter and they won't even see what you're wearing below your waist. <laughs> Go in there with your underwear, right? That's the idea. I shook the hand of the manager, introduced myself, so... We'll see. Yes, we will. Alright, Mike, sounds good. Alright, here we go. We're heading out to the meeting. Heading out to the meeting. The old 10. What is it? 10 o'clock? The 10. Mike has some peoples there. How many years did you have before? Uh, close to three years, two times. Two years one time, close to three years another time. So you got support, right? Kind of. Not right now. I got to build back up the supports. Even my closest supports I've really lost contact with. So It's all about rebuilding, you know, slowly rebuilding. Forgetting about all all the rest. It's out of my control. Yeah. All right, well I'm driving now, so. Uh, calls that they get, like, uh, how can you say that? Like, oh yeah, leave a message, but we we probably won't return your call. And this this workforce place that you have to sign up with for food stamps now is telling me. Due to the high volume of calls, we might not be able to return your call. Hold on. I don't know, I'm just trying to comply with all this craziness to get um, some food stamps. Gotta keep doing something different, which is going to meetings and doing step work because I haven't done it before and it ended up with the same result, relapse. So, I gotta do it different and keep moving forward. All thanks to David Callahan. Motivational Wednesday. <laughs> Today's hump day, right? Yep, hump day. Hump day for the big booties. Uh uh. Now is not. Now is not the fucking time. What? So it's Thursday. And it looks like. What do we got there? Yeah, we got lines on every one. So, Mike has successfully detoxified his system since Sunday. Today's Thursday. And as you can see, he's on the computer right now. Just, uh, yeah, that's him. And that's. 
the results of his urine. It's my urine. Lines on them all. You didn't sneak any... No fake, drugs for me. You didn't sneak any fake urine in there or nothing, right? No. You held my... Yeah, alright. Sure I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's that. Anything else? Looking for work. Glad to be clean. Alright, let's go. Need that coffee, bro. Yeah. Um, you guys together? Um, Alright, yeah. okay. nah, He works. He's got money. Mm. Alright, thank, thank you. you. So you don't need the shot? Or yeah? Oh, yeah, Starbucks gives some liquid crack. Steps for what? Get my food stamps. Doesn't seem like they give a shit if you have The stoop. This clip's called the stoop. They have no food. There it goes. Let's see how many cigarette butts we got added. Up. Anybody ever want to empty this thing? Oh, shit. Sober home living right there. Hello, people. Finally, some explanation on what's going on. All right, so the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing right now is, well, had a lot to do with Mike moving in and as you can see I had to blur I, I didn't have to blur him out but I did because I'm not here to hurt nobody well, he took off Friday he gave me a clean urine on Thursday and on Friday he took off now he's got this girl that he's been with and uh, I knew that if he went with her that it would pretty much be over that he wouldn't <laughs> He wouldn't be coming back because he wouldn't have a clean urine, and in that case, I would have had to give him the boot anyway. So <clears throat> now we're just dealing with two people, and there's an open bed. And Ken is actually, he's a young guy, he works really hard. You know, he, he's got the potential. He's got the potential to do well. I really want to see him do well. I don't know if that's the case. He doesn't go to he doesn't go to enough meetings. I have a meeting list. I'll show you that later after the house meeting. The house meeting is gonna be tonight. It's Sunday now. I was gonna do this before, but um you know I, I waited till today so I could really give you a rundown on what's what happened this week. Now do you have a calculator on you? Okay, well, I'm going to give you some numbers. There's an estimated 900,000 people that will use heroin in the U.S. this year. 900,000. So let's be conservative and say 500,000 of those people actually have or develop habits. Now, let's be conservative again and say that habit only cost them a hundred dollars a day you guys tell me any recovering addicts heroin you tell me a hundred dollars a day I'm sure I'm shooting it kind of low um, and 365 times 500,000 times a hundred eighteen billion dollars a year where's that money going probably going out of the country so just just a little just a little idea what's going on here now take that and imagine a cocaine habit be another one <clears throat> fuck drunk 
There you fuck go. Hillary. Fuck Trump. It's like a it's like a heroin. Some more. It's like a heroin addiction on crack. Literally. What is it? I'll give you a ride, bro, if you need to take care of something, all right? Just got to let me know ahead of time. How's work? What is it? So it says the idea that somehow, someday, he will control and enjoy his drinking is the great obsession of every abnormal drinker. The persistence of his illusion is astonishing. Many pursue it into the gates of insanity or death. Basically, that's saying if most people that don't do any of the steps or don't do any of the work or anything, it's, you're just going to keep having the illusion that if you keep going and going that you think you're just going to be able to control it one day when all reality you're never going to be able to control. It. You're just going to keep going and going and going and going. But in his mind, you're thinking that if you keep going, you're going to be able to control it. Yeah, it, it really what it, comes, what it comes down to is like, you know, people pursue it to the sanity, to the gates of insanity and death, you know, it's like, it's like a uh, full flight from reality, right. you know? But that, I mean, that's what I mean, like, you're, with the insanity and the death part of it, you're going to... He's thinking that he's just going to keep doing it and eventually be able to control it, but he's not. He's just going to keep going until he's insane or dead. That's that's what I get from it, at least. That's what I pick up from it. Yeah, that's good. And I mean, that's pretty much what it, that's pretty much exactly what it says. I mean, and what does it say about somehow, someday, <clears throat> um, or the the delusion that we may be like or presently maybe has to be smashed the delusion that we're like other people right that we're normal people that we can just drink and be fine and do well, what we that's when do. you stop that's when you know that has to be smashed when when you have a few days or a few weeks or a few months or a few years or you know like me years right you know years without drinking you know, it's a good reminder that if you drink, you end up right back where, where you were, right all over again, you know, and it doesn't take long. No, and if it lasts long enough, you're going to lose everything that you probably gain back again, more than likely. 90% of the time. I think it's one of the hardest things for people to do is realize that they're not normal. They're not like anybody else, you know? At least for me, for my aspect of it, it is, you know? For me, it's got to be a daily, uh, like a daily Re surrender, reprieve. you know? A daily thing. It's not they call, just... They call it a daily reprieve. Right. Some people may be able to do it once and be... be you know, okay with it, but for me myself, it's gonna be it's gotta be a daily thing. It may even have to be hourly, or even minute to minute, you know, whatever. Some people, it's different. I 
ST, you got any thoughts on that? Oh, I agree. What's that? Guys, you gonna make some meetings this week? Fill out your sheets? And clean urine? Uh, what, what are your thoughts on Mike? What did you guys pick up from him when I wasn't around? Was, is there anything I wasn't around that you guys noticed? I mean, was he planning it or? No, I don't think he was. I don't know about planning it. I mean, there was definitely a two or day, two day thing where it was. You can tell that it was maybe starting to head that way. But he was on the phone a lot. Right, right, yeah, he was on the phone a lot. So I don't know whoever got on the phone. I would say that wasn't a good idea. But it was his girlfriend. That's nor here or there. But as far as him being here, I'll say that he was completely different from the last time he was here. And even when the last time he was here, he came in off the streets too, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. No, he came from rehab. Oh yeah, that's right. So he did have a little bit of clean time. So I don't know. Maybe that was the benef the benefiting factor of why he was seemed different to me, you know. But I don't know. There was just something weird. Like he wasn't. He you could tell he wasn't the same Mike. You know what I mean? Like he wasn't uh, happy. He wasn't. He wasn't very talkative. He wasn't. You know try to share things, try to be around a lot of people. I don't know, it just, it just seemed different than almost antisocial, to me at least, you know what I mean? When he was here last time, I don't think there was ever a moment when he was not happy, not wanting to talk, not wanting to, you know, participate or, you know, whatever the case may be. There was never a moment where he wasn't trying to be involved. And this time he just came, he was quiet, you know, hey, how's it going? type of thing and that was it. Yeah. Then it was uh, He sure pulled a he sure pulled a fast one on me, man. <coughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting I mean that. I I had most most of the footage I had was of him. Right. Do you know what I mean? It was you know, it was like and then he gave me the clean urine. Yeah. And that made it even that much worse when he left the next day. It was just I, Yeah, I don't understand. You know what I'm Picked saying? me up and tell me that he just packed the shit and dipped. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of expected it, though. I don't you know. That yeah, I mean, I expected it, but I but what not he, gave as quick. Me a, he gave me a clean urine. First, he listened to me, and he didn't go that day I told him not to go. He was going to go hang out with the old people. And I told him not to, and he didn't go. And then he gave me a clean urine, and then the next day he left. You know? So, I mean, hmm. it is what it is, right? That wraps it up for the first night of Sober Diaries. Don't forget to tune in next week, Sunday night, around the same time. And remember, I have an open bed. I might have somebody new. All new beginnings. And we'll keep an update, see how Ken's doing and my other client. And uh, don't forget uh, what I talked about earlier, how this is affecting America. Just a little ways that you could help. Maybe uh, help the recovering community a little bit. Subscribe. It's free. Send it forward. I will keep you entertained as much as possible. Any comments are welcome. They have to be reviewed. So make sure that, uh, just give me a little bit of time to get back to you guys.